graduates of the class of 2019. It's too nice of a day to be quiet up there. so far.
morning, Bill Milnes, the principal here at Coldwater High School. I'd like to first thank the band for bringing us into our ceremony tonight under the direction of Katie Jewell and Aaron Wood, our Division I rating band program here at CHS. So we could give them a round of applause. Before we, we begin, I'd also like to ask that you please silence your cell phones if you have not already done that for us. We would certainly appreciate it. At this time, we are going to ask those who are able to please rise. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. We will be signaling the flag on our field as we honor our nation with the singing of the national anthem by our, anthem by our also Division I rated CHS Balladeers under the direction of Katie Doublestein. Our flag today is flown at half staff until midnight June 4th in memory of the victims of the tragic shooting at the Virginia Beach Municipal Center in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Thank you once again, you may be seated. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tiffany Corwin, and I am the class president of the class of 2019. Today is the day that we have been waiting for since September 8, 2015, graduation. I know, I know, this may not seem real to some of us. It seems like just yesterday, we were all nervous middle schoolers anticipating our first day of high school. And to be here today in caps and gowns is incredible. It is like a dream come true. I'd like to thank you all for coming and joining in the celebration of the class of 2019 and all their accomplishments. Whether you're feeling happy, sad, anxious, or perhaps a mixture of all three, today will be remembered as one of the greatest days of our lives. My fellow classmates, I am so proud of every single one of you, and I can't wait to see where the future takes us. As we move through this ceremony today, I'd like you all to have the mindset that this is not the end, but rather the end of the beginning. Today marks the beginning of a magnificent journey with an unlimited amount of possibilities for us all. Now let's get this party started. Hello, I'm Zachary Goh, the secretary for the class of 2019. Over these long but fast-paced 13 years, there are countless people who have helped us get to this moment, who allowed us to find who we are and what we want to be. Whether it is the genuine, have a good day from the lunch ladies, or the warm smile on the teacher's face, the staff have members have always been there for us. For some of us, it may seem as though it is a miracle that we are walking across the stage today, but that is not the case. 
I believe with the love and devotion that these caring people have shown, there was never a legitimate chance of us failing. They have been in our corner when we needed them, and for this I wanted to say thank you. Thank you for believing in us when those closest to us did not. Without your unconditional guidance and support, who knows where we would be today. There are two people I would especially like to thank that have gone above and beyond, our advisors, Mrs. Kelly and Mrs. Lauder. These two kind-hearted and motivated women were often the engine running our class events. They expected us as class officers to take charge on projects, but if we had a large assignment due or a sporting event causing us to miss a meeting, they were always there to pick up the slack. I believe they not only fulfilled the role of advisor, but also of role model. During the hectic times of setting up for snowball, prom, and the senior trip, Mrs. Kelly and Mrs. Lauder kept their composure and wits about them. They both have the heart of a true parent, someone who demands the best out of you while still being your friend, a person you can rely on whenever you need them. They extended to us the love that they share with their own children, a quality that is immeasurable. I could go on about all the great times that we have had as a class and as a tight-knit class council family, but we would be here for a while. Again, thank you Mrs. Kelly, Mrs. Lauder, and the rest of the staff, sincerely class council, and the class of 2019. Hello, I am Ella Budd, the Senior Class Council Treasurer for the Class of 2019. I would like to take this moment to thank our amazing parents. Parents, without you, we would not have been able to keep our events running. From transporting us to homecome decorating, to helping decorate our snowball, to completely running our afterglow, and finally making all the food we've ever asked for. You have always been there for us. Without your dedication to our class, we would not have made our years in high school as great as they were. So thank you. Thank you for your sleepless nights. Thank you for all your donations. Thank you for never giving up on us. But most importantly, thank you for getting us up in the morning. We wouldn't be here today if it weren't for you, literally. Some other parents that we like to take a moment to thank. They are parents in our community that have opened their homes and their hearts to students from around the world as those students have come to Coldwater through an exchange student program to share a little bit of their culture with us and we certainly hope that they're going to take back some of the cardinal, cardinal spirit with them as well. So we are going to be recognizing our exchange students. When I call your name, if you would please rise. And I'll also be uh, giving a, an appreciation to the host parents. So if they could please rise as well when their names are announced. Gregory Roberts and Gary McLaughlin hosted two exchange students this year that actually have both needed to go back home already. If Gregory and Gary are both here today, could you please rise so we could thank you for sharing your homes and hearts with those two students. Matthias Hillebron and Nopinot Yeitut. Once in a while, parents are actually able to come, not just the host parents, but the family of our exchange students. We have two families that I'm aware of that were able to make the trip to be here with their children today. From Italy, we have Gaia Marladina. Gaia was hosted by Brian and Danielle Kelly, but her father, mother, sister, and brother are also here from Italy to celebrate with us here today. Next, I would like to thank Carl and Victoria Duda for hosting from Germany, David Drusla. Next, a big thank you to Joel and Kristen Nitzwicki for, for hosting from Moldova, Laura Gitsu. We'd like to thank Paul and Shelly Monks 
and also her mother and a family friend are here to celebrate with her today. From Spain, Lisa Herrero. Lisa, wave your arm. All right, there you go. Perfect. It's all right. We'd like to thank Mark and Sharon Demeester for hosting from Denmark, Rebecca Lund. And we'd like to thank Nicole Janis for hosting from Bosnia and Herzegovina, Herzegovina, Milana Micic. We'd like to thank Scott and Karen Lauder for hosting from Germany, Radoslav Vanko. And we'd like to thank Donald and Luba Fry for hosting from Japan, Hidahiro Yokida. And then finally, we would like to thank Raymond and Jennifer Rakowski for hosting from the Ukraine, Anna Maria Shatstikova. Again, thank you students for coming here with us and spending a year of your life to share a little bit about your culture with us. And again, I hope you take some of that cardinal spirit home with you. Also this time, during our ceremony, we'd like to recognize some of the academic achievements of this class, which are incredible. Uh, we have graduating students who are graduating with honors, cum laude. Uh, they are wearing bronze cords to signify that they are graduating with a cumulative GPA of 3.0 to 3.39. Would those of you who are graduating with bronze cords please stand to be recognized? Thank you. Those graduating with high honors, magna cum laude, are wearing silver cords to signify that they are graduating with a cumulative GPA of 3.4 to 3.69. Would those of you who are graduating with silver cords please stand to be recognized? And those graduating with highest honors, summa cum laude, are wearing gold cords to signify that they are graduating with a cumulative GPA of 3.7 and higher. There are a lot of you. Would those of you graduating with gold cords please stand to be recognized? You'll also notice seniors who are members of our CHS National Honor Society. They are wearing their NHS stoles. Would the seniors who are graduating members of the CHS chapter please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Our final recognition of a, of a group of students these are students who are graduating with the recognition of Senior Scholar. To be eligible for consideration as a Senior Scholar, a student must maintain a cumulative GPA of 3.4 or higher and perform very well on the ACT or SAT College Readiness Test. I'm going to read the names of the 25 Senior Scholars for the class of 2019. Again, the most that we have had in a graduating class. As I read your name, please stand and remain standing so that we can hold our applause until all the senior scholars have been called. The senior scholars for the class of 2019 are Ella Budd, Jordan Clemens Savage, Ricardo Corona, Tiffany Corwin, Daniel Diamond, Ellery Farmer, Meredith Greif, Maxim Gruner, Faith Herendeen, Selena Hostetler, Lucas Jones, Jada Kelly, Kyle Kurzansky, Bryce Lafferty, Cameron Martin, Peyton Molnar, Ryan Murphy, 
William Real, Zachary Rigaud, Samantha Rodeseiler, Clarissa Shepard, Stuart Sebeski, Valentina Yaldo, Aisha Yaya, and Andrew Zuzga. If we could please give our senior scholars a round of applause. Thank you. We have then just a couple of groups of students that we want to recognize. This group of students are our seniors who are part of the early college program here at CHS. They will continue their education next year in a partnership with KCC as 13th year students. But they will attend all of their coursework at KCC. They are foregoing earning their diplomas today and will earn them after they complete their coursework next year. These students are wearing an additional KCC Bruins Corps. Would those of you who are in our early college program please stand to be recognized. And then this year, for the first time, we have several students with IEPs who worked toward accomplishing their educational goals while also preparing themselves for the world of work. In doing so, they have earned the seal of employability. These students have demonstrated the skills and behaviors to be dedicated, competent, and responsible employees. Will the following students who have earned the seal of employability please stand? Zach Gurdum, Jade Rasmussen, Anthony Snowden, and Sunny Day. Congratulations. And then finally, each year we have several students who have decided at this time to make serving our country their next steps in their future education and careers. Would those graduates who are planning to join the armed forces and those of you in attendance today who have served or are currently serving, please stand to be recognized so we can show you our appreciation. Thank you, and thank you for your service. We also annually honor and ask the top academic graduating seniors to speak to their classmates and the community. This year we have what may be a historic occurrence since the time that our AP classes here at Coldwater High School have been weighted. This year we have a salutatorian and tri-valedictorians. I'll be introducing them to you now. The salutatorian for the class of 2019 is hoping to pursue a career to become a trauma surgeon. This young man worked very hard to accomplish something that has not been accomplished by a high school student in Branch County. By taking his coursework through KCC in addition to his CHS classes and by dedicating a lot of time at the KCC Battle Creek campus, senior Ryan Murphy has recently been able to earn his EMT certification. In fact, he earned the highest grade in the class. Over the years, he has also dedicated his time to our athletic programs over the years playing football, basketball, track, and football. Whoop, he played it twice, I guess. <laughs> I'd like to introduce and honor the salutatorian for the class of 2019, Ryan Murphy. Good evening. I'd like to start off by thanking everyone that is in attendance today. You would not be here if one of these graduates wasn't important to you, and I can promise you that we wouldn't be here if it had not been for you. Specifically, I want to thank my parents. You have chauffeured me around, whether it be to sporting events, school activities, or a multitude of other ventures, and endowed in me the qualities and confidence needed in life, and I never conveyed to you the proper gratitude. I also wish to thank all the teachers and staff at CHS. You all work tirelessly in order to afford each of us the best education, 
Even though some of us won't admit it, you each have had a hand in molding us into the individuals we are today and taught us something that will resonate throughout our lives. And now to the class of 2019. I have three words for you. Bet, check, or full. These are the three options every player has in poker. These are also the three options each one of us have to decide on. Do we want to bet on ourselves and believe that we can create a better life than the one we currently have? Or are you content with our current situation and would rather check and see what happens in the future? Or are we just going to give up and fold on everything? The only certainty in poker is that if you fold, you will lose. Throughout your life, you will encounter setbacks. You can't allow these obstacles to force you to fold and give up. You have to persevere and believe in yourself. In poker, it has been proven that you will lose more hands by checking than by betting. What this illustrates is that you can never give up on yourself. It's okay to, it's okay to enjoy where you're at now, but if where that is isn't your final goal, then you can't become complacent and keep checking. You have to bet on yourself and keep betting until you get to that final destination. When playing poker, you can't control what cards you are dealt or if someone comes to the table with more chips than you. This is exactly what life is like. You can't control what complications you encounter or if someone has been given more opportunities than you. You have to trust in your skills and play your cards right, and in the end, you can walk away from the table with the most chips. That's the mindset you need in life. But no one is going to become a master poker player overnight. Walking away with the most chips is contingent on the hard work and dedication that each one of you must implement right now and continue to apply until you've reached that final destination. So, class of 2019, don't be afraid to take risks and bet on yourself and prove to each one of us here today that you have what it takes to walk away with the most chips. Thank you. As I stated, we have three valedictorians for the class of 2019. Each one has a unique set of qualities and plans for their futures, but one thing they all share is they have dedicated their time and academic talents to accomplishing a perfect high school record by taking all of our classes, honors classes, all 10 AP classes, and earning all A's in every class. Our first valedictorian will be attending the University of Michigan and hopes to pursue a career in becoming a surgeon. She's been very active in several sports teams over the years as well and spent most of her athletic time focusing on bowling. I would like to introduce and honor our first valedictorian for the class of 2019, Miss Tiffany Corwin. Hi everyone, good afternoon again. Before I go into some deep and meaningful speech, I'd like to first seize this opportunity to thank the two most important people in my life, my parents. Mom and Dad, I love you two so much, although it may not always seem like it. You two have unconditionally supported me through this crazy adventure. It hasn't always been easy, and we haven't always seen eye to eye, but I will always be grateful, and I will always love both of you, whether I'm in Ann Arbor or in Antarctica. You two are the reason I'm here, thank you. Now, when most people think of success, they immediately think of success as an individual. They don't think of success as a whole. The class of 2019 is different, however, because I've only ever witnessed us acting together as a team. The hardest class I've ever had to take here at CHS was AP Physics. I can honestly say that I would have not gotten through this class if it wasn't for my classmates. Before every test, we high-fived each other, and once each class period, we would all simultaneously crack our backs just to symbolize our friendship. It was little gestures like those that let me knew that I wasn't alone on this dark path of learning about rotational angular motion. Teamwork was apparent on and off the lanes, too. Many people think of bowling as an individual sport, but in reality, it was due to a bunch of individuals 
working together that made our team successful. The amazing thing about bowling was that I could mess up and have a bad game, and for the most part, I could count on my teammates to make up for it. Success is not an individual sport, it is a team effort. For so many years, Coldwater High School has not had multiple valedictorians. This year, there are three. Rather than viewing this title as a competition, Selena, Zach, and I all worked together to achieve this award. We, recognize, we encouraged each other instead of brought each other down. The class of 2019, I advocate for all of you to not view life as a competition. I want you guys to go into the world thinking about how we can make it better, not just thinking about how we can make ourselves better. Selflessness is one of the most important attributes to have. And with that, I'd like to take this time to personally thank my fellow valedictorians and salutatorian. Ryan Murphy, thank you for always assuring me that I was competent enough and capable enough to take the rigorous classes that CHS offered. Although we joked with each other a lot, I knew that you believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. Selena Hostetler, thank you for serving as a role model to me. You are the most brilliant girl I know. Your work ethic and dedication is something I will always strive to achieve for. And Zachary Rigo, thank you for being one of my best friends and always being there for me. Thank you for pushing me and comforting me all those times I needed it most. I'm so lucky to have someone like you by my side. I wish you all the best in life, and I hope that you all continue to be influencers in others' lives. So just remember, everyone, that the most successful people in life are also the ones that are willing to work together. Our next honored academic student has not only been recognized here at CHS, but she is also one of only a few students at Coldwater High School who have been recognized as a National Merit Finalist. She is planning to attend Princeton and will have to work hard to decide which area of study she will focus on since her academic and personal talents spread widely across multiple disciplines. She has shared her musical talents with us over the years in the high school band and musical programs and in the Coldwater and Sturgis communities as well. Her leadership has also been instrumental in the success of our mock trial team in the Youth in Government program, where she was part of the state championship team this year. I would like to introduce and honor our second valedictorian for the class of 2019, Miss Selena Hostetler. set. This is a marching band term and it refers to the first set or formation in the band's performance. It's a chart of the football field that shows where all 60-ish band members should stand and it's followed by the other 10 or 20 sets that make up what's called drill for one song. In band, that command means run as fast as you can and get into the opening set, whether it's for the first time or the hundredth time. It means start over whether we've made it through just one set or the entire show, whether we're 22 and a half inches or 22 and a half sets from perfection, whether one person failed or we all did, the command is the same. Opening set, do it again until it's right. I've been convinced for a while that marching band is just one big metaphor for life, and the idea of an opening set is no exception. It's about giving your all instead of giving up when faced with seemingly insurmountable obstacles. It's about beginning an endeavor that will only succeed when people work together. It's about starting in the same spot and doing the same pattern over and over, but making it just a little closer to the goal each time. An opening set is what forces us not to fear failure, because in marching band and in life, failure is inevitable. Failure is how we learn, and failure is how we get to perfection. I think we've all felt the command opening set implied a few th times throughout high school. We've done what seems like the same thing every day for the past four years. We've all failed a lot, gotten frustrated a lot, been told to try again and start over a lot. But look at what came out of all that. State championships, athletic victories, amazing test scores, and service projects for our community. Think about all we've learned, all the friends and memories we've made. Our high school career, our opening song, if you will, was great. 
We learned it together and performed it together. And today we celebrate that together. This is the closing set of high school. But though it was great, it was all just the beginning. We have the rest of the show to learn. And the second song is always longer and harder and better. And if we're dedicated and determined, learning it will make us better. Today we're all going to receive our diplomas, or as I see it, our new set of drill. And one of the most poetic things about marching drill is that the closing set of one song always start, is always where you start the next. If this is our closing set, the next one starts right here, right now. That being said, there are really only two words I want to leave you with today. Two words to inspire and dare you to start something new, but more importantly, start something better. Class of 2019, opening set. Our final tri-valedictorian is hoping to further his education at UCLA in the field of biology to eventually focus on genetics involving gene editing and health advances. He's also been very involved in our athletic programs here at CHS, playing tennis, basketball, and baseball. Like Tiffany and Selena, all three of these students have been recognized by the College Board AP with an AP Scholar with distinction. That means that they have earned an average score of at least 3.5 on all exams they have taken and scores of three or higher on five or more of their exams. These three students have simply been, been outstanding. I would like to introduce and honor our final valedictorian for the class of 2019, Mr. Zachary Rago. Various faces, one place, all together or all apart. Whether it was the snapping instead of clapping to praise presentations that brought a contagious smile to Mr. Schwinn's face, or Mr. Sheets mischievously encouraging his calculus students to get other teachers to floss, there has always been a characteristic, an idea, more apparent about Coldwater High School than the rest. It is diversity and the notion that you do not have to fit in. There's no set mold that defines success. Triumph in life does not come from following a set of guidelines. There is no rule book for existence. A million roads lie ahead of for our future, and a million more allowed us to get here. Looking at the faces of my fellow graduates today, I see a mixture of emotions, from euphoric joy to nostalgic remembrance. The quality among us that is constant is that none are the same. We are all unique, and that is what defines us. It's our past, it's our history, and it's up to us to own it. With that said, I challenge you, class of 2019, to search for who you truly are. And once you find who that is, be confident in being them. Never let someone prevent you from following your passions and your deepest desires. Never cower in the face of prejudice and adversity. Instead, raise your arms higher. Let the world know that you are proud of who you work to become. Going into this next stage, this next level of life, can be terrifying. To me, life has always been like a baseball game, throwing a curveball one moment and then bringing a flaming fastball the next. Personal experience has taught me that you never quite can guess what is coming your way, but you can stay faithful to who you are. Do not be afraid to be different from the person across the room. Some may say we are crazy for embracing our differences, but as Lewis Carroll once wrote, we're all mad here. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ricardo Eric Corona, the class council representative of the class of 2019. Throughout the years, we have received many gifts and contributions from the community. I would like to take this moment to thank the community on, the, on behalf of the class of 2019. The generosity of the community helped our class accomplish many of our goals, from homecoming every year to snowball and prom. I would like to give a special thanks to all the businesses downtown 
for allowing us to paint on the windows every year during homecoming, JT's for always supporting our class and being gener generous enough to donate food for our senior swing out, as well as Hungry Howie's for all their kindness and donations to our class over the years. Thank you to the community for always supporting our class to our very last day. We would not have been able to accomplish all that we have if it were not for you. Thank you again for making our high school experience that much better. Greetings, everybody. My name is Todd Farmer, and I am the athletic director here at Coldwater Schools. And I'm here to present the John Vance Award. John Vance was a 1975 graduate of Coldwater High School. As a student at CHS, he was involved in the newly formed commission, which is our current student council. The yearbook staff, the C club, and played both varsity football and varsity baseball. As a senior, he was selected by the student body as the homecoming king. He went to the college at the University of Michigan where he played on the reserve baseball team in 1976. He represented the highest standards of character, leadership, and achievement to which all students should aspire. He was not just an athlete, nor an honor student, nor a student leader. He was all three. On May 25, 1982, John lost a year-long battle with cancer. In memory of John Vance, and in an effort to recognize a graduating senior who best represents the standard John exemplified, the John Vance Award was established in 1982. Every year, the faculty and staff select one senior to receive this honor, and his or her name is added to the plaque that is on the display in the gym lobby. In memory of John Vance, we, the faculty and staff of Coldwater High School, honor Zachary Rigaud, who represents the standard that John exemplified. Zach, come on forward. Good evening. I'm Terry Bogus, and I'm the superintendent here at Coldwater Community Schools. It is my pleasure to welcome families and friends to this important celebration for the Coldwater Senior Class of 2019. To our students, congratulations on the completion of your high school career. I am honored to be part of this afternoon's significant occasion. Class of 2019, we are all so very proud of you. Today is a special day for you. For you, it culminates 13 years of school, and it is a rite of passage to launch you into a new journey in life. For your parents and teachers, it's a time to reminisce about how far you have come and express again their hopes and expectations for your future. Thinking about where you will go, what you will see, and what you will learn makes each of us, your parents, teachers, administrators, staff, and Board of Education, so excited and so proud. I have watched a significant number of you during the past four years perform in plays, band and choir concerts, athletic contests, school board presentations, community service projects, and other general efforts to help your fellow student in our community. Through all these activities, you have set new standards of achievement for other classes to emulate. You have added to the excellence that is Coldwater Community Schools. You are the 152nd graduating class. You have had many great experiences at the high school, and what you have accomplished in your academic career has been nothing short of amazing. We have watched you become the outstanding young people you are today. But now is not the time to rest. 
You still have much to do, so much to learn, and so much to give. Beginning tomorrow, you will take the first steps in your new journey, one that will help to define how you will make a difference in the world. Many of you will pursue higher education or training that will lead to your chosen careers. Others will enter the working world right away. Regardless, it's not so much about the type of work you choose to do as much as the passion and dedication you bring to the job each and every day. School commencement is a time of new beginnings. It is certainly a time to feel a sense of tremendous pride and accomplishment. With it comes a sense of wonder, fear, and much excitement. You will now face one of the biggest decisions in your life. What shall I become? It has been said that the two most significant times of your life are when you were born and the day you figure out why you were born. To help in answering this question, start by putting down your smartphone every once in a while and connect directly to the world because it offers inspiration, because even though you can Google for a job, you can Google for an answer, and you can even Google for a date, but you can't Google for what is in your heart, the passion that drives you, lifts you, and gives you real purpose and meaning in life. You cannot download passion, imagination, zest, and creativity you have to upload it in the old-fashioned way with reading, writing, math, travel, study, reflection, and human interactions. Significant accomplishments and achievements in life are not meant to come with ease. They require uncommon dedication and focus. Never allow limitations to confine your abilities. I hope the road that you choose is personally fulfilling and that it brings values to others in this world. Live a life that makes you and your parents and teachers proud. Be courageous and stand up for what is right. Be kind and respectful and stay true to yourself and your commitments. In closing, I would like to share some thoughts that were written last year from our former First Lady, Michelle Obama, that I believe are words we should all try to live by. And I quote, for every door that's been opened to me, I've tried to open my door to others. And here's what I have to say. Let's invite one another in. Maybe then we can begin to fear less, to make fewer wrong assumptions, to let go of the biases and stereotypes that unnecessarily divide us. Maybe we can better embrace the ways we are all the same. It's not about being perfect. It's not about where you get yourself in the end. There's power in allowing yourself to be known and heart in owning your unique story in using your authentic voice. And there's grace in being willing to know and hear others. To the class of 2019, as you leave the ceremony this afternoon, on the path to your personal future, remember you have the power to do great things. You have the power to change the course of history through character, generosity, intellectual decision making, and creative acts of humanity. Don't pass up the opportunity to make a difference. We are proud of each and every one of you, and we share in your happiness this afternoon. Best wishes on the rest of your life. At this time, I would like to introduce the members of the Coldwater Board of Education. The Board of Education members work very hard to provide the best programs possible for our students. Would you please stand as I say your name, and we will hold our applause until all board members are standing. Dr. Edward Lake, President. Nick Kraminski, Vice President. 
Jeannie Milne, Secretary. Claire Dean, Treasurer. Jeff Holbrook, Trustee. And Stephen Rust, Trustee. And Dr. Ron Lanford, Trustee. Members of the class of 2019, please rise. On behalf of the faculty and the administration of Coldwater High School, I present the class of 2019 to the Board of Education and in doing so, verify that each member has met the requirements for the diploma or certificate that he or she shall receive today. And each is entitled to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Please be seated. I'm getting last minute instructions. Um, I'm Ed Lake of the school board, and uh, once again, I'd like to give a little quote to the 2019 class. This is from Mark Twain. Throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream and discover. By the authority of the state of Michigan, vested in the Board of Education and by those delegated to me, the president, I hereby confer upon you the appropriate diplomas and certificates of Coldwater High School. Thank you. closer. I'd like to take a moment just to say a couple of thank yous. Thank you to our student speakers. You have represented yourselves and your class amazingly today. Thank you to our athletic director, Mr. Farmer, and our assistant principal, Mrs. Searles, for all their help throughout the year as we work in a close partnership in regard to the academic and athletic opportunities that we have here with our students. I also want to thank this amazingly wonderful teaching and counseling faculty here at CHS and the K-12 faculty as well, many of them here with us today. Your support of these students over the many years in our entire school system have helped them grow and learn and that is why we are here celebrating them today. In particular, I want to thank the class advisors for the class of 2019, Mrs. Kelly and Mrs. Lauder, for all of their time and dedication for helping these young ones come through our high school in the last four years. And then I'd also like to publicly acknowledge and recognize two of our staff that will not be joining us this next year, at this event next year, as they are retiring this year. So if I could please have a large round of applause for this woman who is retiring after 22 years of teaching English here at CHS, Miss Sue Kaschalk, if she could please rise. And then if we could take a moment to also recognize retiring after 28 years of teaching at Lake Middle School and Coldwater High School in the Industrial Arts Program, Mr. Ron Ford. I'd also like to thank Superintendent Mrs. Bogut, Assistant Superintendent Amanda Miller, the board President Dr. Lake and the rest of our school board for helping to guide the vision of our school district. And finally, I'd like to thank all of you that are in attendance here today. 
Students, just a reminder, when you come across the stage today to receive your diploma cover, please stop for a brief moment so that Mr. Stan Clayton can take a picture of your handshake photo for graduation. We do ask parents to please stay in the stand so not to crowd the stage area. The diploma photos will be available to download for free off of our website later this week. And now at this time, it is our pleasure to have our assistant principal, Mrs. Searles, introduce to you the graduating class of 2019. If the front row would please stand. Nope, don't have to. Okay, I think uh, we can scoot it to the left or to the right a little bit. We're doing amazingly good so far. So I've turned the mic off. Get it where you want it. That's good. Spot. Good. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to come over here behind her, behind she'll her. just get, stand well, right here. The side of her. Yep. There's the are you ready? I am. We're going to touch that button, you'll be ready to roll. Get it. Love you, Ryan. Valentina Yaldo. <laughs> Ricardo Corona. <laughs> Zachary Rego. <laughs> Selena Hostetler. Ella Bud. Hi. Tiffany Corwin. Ryan Murphy. Mallory Repka. Morgan Beckhusen. Ellery Farmer. Clarissa Shepard. Emily Smoker. Tyler Scheid. Jada Kelly. Samantha Rodesiler. Anna Tappenden. Gaia Bellardini. Erica Rogers. Bree Barrows. Avery Volkmer. Emma Beckhusen. Andrew Zuzka. Kimberly Ramos.
Mitzi Hernandez. Whitney Johnson. Abigail Coffin. Dylan Purchase. Faith Herendine. Autumn Sunderland. Michaela Daoud. Kelsey Herlin. Karina Cashin. Meredith Greif. Rebecca Lund. Rachel Harvey. Jacqueline Rodriguez. Amelia Girth. Anna Louder. Katie Eaton. Sydney Bordner. Grace Flores Rodriguez. You got this. Asia Moderate. Asia Moderate. Montgomery Barrow. Mallory Kissinger. Bailey Travelby. Nazra Ahmed. Aisha Yaya. Zahaya Mohammed Salah. Jamila Abdullah. Zaina Musa. Kahara Abdullah. Asma Ahmed. Rukaya Ahmed. Asila Adam. Samantha Denayo. J. 
Jillian Combs. Lita Teeples. Michael Morris. Jessica Warner. Rebecca Schneider. Phoebe Peck. Haley Davis. Stuart Sebeski. Virginia Torres Ojeda. Jacqueline Gallegos. Loveline Lilia. Andrea Maldonado Campos. Remedios Barajas Ruiz. Veronica Arroyo. Yareli Beltran. Sophia Grady. Reem Yahari. Aisha Omar. Sunny Day. Jade Rasmussen. Anthony Snowden. Zachary Gurdum. Tanner Smith. Taylor Kranz. Haley Robinson. Ashlyn Finley. Hannah Forrester. Tisha Denio. Samantha Piper. Kathy Potter. Rain Snyder. Anna Maria Jerichova. David Dressler. Carson Elkins. Griffin Olmstead. Maya Tam. Molly Smith. Jordan Clemens Savage. I don't know. 
Jayla Goodwin. Lisa Herrero Mendez. Carter Horde. Dylan Minton. Caleb West. Brent Lucas. Haley Wilson. Emily Gundrum. Kara Vaughn. Skyler Robison. Abigail Covert. Courtney Johnson. Dennis Asker. <laughs> Mohammed Salam. <laughs> Kyle Herman. <laughs> Gage McGuire. Colin Nil. Brady Warner. Austin Roby. George Hammond. Jonathan Little. Austin Johns. Dylan Faust. Ethan Plana. Derek Butler. Tyler Champion. Isabella Hartwell. <laughs> Daisy Ashley. <laughs> Larissa McClelland. <laughs> Logan Bourne. Dakota Marsh. Michael Kubel. Ethan Jones. Cordelia Ulrich. Grayson Latender. Garrett Rogers. Jagger Belt. Connor Hanna. Damian Cole. Lucas Jones. I'm not doing Caleb Modert. Gabriel Roscoe. 
Sean Radke. I can't do it. Tyler, do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Trip and fall. Tyler Shear. Hunter Eldridge. Sydney Akers. Colby Shook. Elise Leggett. Tyler Clausen. Devin Hudson. Ahed El Hajaji. Najmuddin Ahmed. Khalid Gabri. Otto Abdullah. Bakil Abdullah. <laughs> Mohammed Salah. <laughs> Gamal Saeed. <laughs> Abdul Rahman Shofar. Yeah, come on. Sam Morrison. Carson Stainer. Caleb Fox. Anthony Davis. Mackenzie Cook. Andrea Aker. Cyrus Ingersoll. Ryan Eros. Eric. Cunningham. Laura Gitu. Milana Michik. Ivan Eredando. Noah Anzaldua. Clayton Goheen. Andrew Fowler. Sabrina Salcedo. David Ambrosio Hernandez. Mark Jason Villanueva. Dylan Traver. Hidahiro Yokoda. Mason Angel. Joshua Ralson. Tyler Dixon. Michaela Merritt. Max 
Sim Gruner. Bilal Nasser. Shaif Ahmed. Zaid Atwain. Salah Norman. Zaid Manasar. Sakaf Ahmed. Ado Ahmed. Sammy Mosin. Jonathan Birch. Jaden Ross. Megan Root. <laughs> William Real. <laughs> Quinton Via. <laughs> Cameron Martin. Krasanski. Daniel Diamond. Blake Schluter. Gabriella Vasquez. Eva Linderman. <laughs> Janet Boston. <laughs> Hannah Fernie. <laughs> Harwan Alatre. Radislav Vanko. <laughs> Logan Worley. Thank you. Benjamin Kinsey. Alec Keplinger. Jonathan Alberto. Yeah, Bryce Lafferty. <laughs> Alex Shale. Zachary Schultz. Joshua Fillmore. Kelsey Smith. Chazity Gerda. Madison Solak. Hunter. Jen Cott. David Derschel. Oh, Gavin Derschel. Sorry, Gavin. Bianca Beamer. Jeremy Wygent. <laughs> Kayla Moore. Yeah, Kayla. 
Caitlin Danbury. Brianna Thompson. Jose Blankenship. Kinley O'Brien. Taylor Sabunchak. Class of 2019, before I speak to you, I'd like to take just a moment to recognize that although all of us are here to celebrate with you today, there are others who unfortunately are no longer with us, but they are definitely here with us in spirit, celebrating your great accomplishments. At this time, I'd like to take just a moment of silence for each of us to remember in our own way the ones who have passed, but they've touched our lives in ways that we will always remember. We'll always keep this, keep them with us wherever we go. Thank you. You might often hear people say the phrase, I can't believe how time flies by. And maybe as you sit here today reflecting on your last four years at Coldwater High School, you might be feeling the same way. Facebook seems to do a pretty good job for those of us who still use Facebook of sending us memories every once in a while. And believe it or not, yesterday I was sent a memory of the day that you all came up here to eat lunch and as eighth graders do the very first Cardinal Victory cheer as a class. Between that day and now, there is a lot of life that has happened. A lot's happened to you in your classes, a lot's happened to you in your friendships, and a lot has happened within all of you. Well, believe it or not, in about 20 years, you might remember about 15 to 20 things that have happened in the classrooms, the hallways, on the fields, in the clubs. It seems like everything was so very important. But at this time, I want to remind you to do just one thing. Because as you soar into your future, time really will pass you by unless you take a moment to live in the moment. My message to you then, is to think about who you're with, what you're doing, and absorb that moment in time. You don't have to post everything to a timeline. You don't have to wait for people to comment, share, or like those posts. I want you to please just leave with one memory from me today. When you are with someone, be with them. When you are celebrating with your friends, celebrate with them and absorb and make that memory so that it will be one of those things that you'll always remember through the rest of your life. As I do each year, I want to thank you parents for sharing your children with us. It's an honor and an opportunity, a great responsibility for us to partner with you over these last many years as the co-parents during their school day. Seniors, remember the classmates on stage are going to lead you out of the ceremony, down the track, back over here behind the goal post for you to do the ceremonial cap throw. But then you also have to remember that you need to go back to the gym to get your actual diplomas. So don't leave here today without those. You worked pretty hard for them. All right? So, parents, we're about ready to give these kids back to you and to the community 
of Coldwater Branch County and wherever they may live and groan. So, students, to signify your crossing over into the next chapters of your education, your careers, and your futures at this time, please move those tassels from the right of your cap to the left, and congratulations. the Vice President of the Class of 2019. Before I close the ceremony, I would like to thank you all for being here today. Class of 2019, today is a special day that marks the beginning of our futures. Our high school journey is now over, but a new exciting journey awaits us. Just four years ago, this day seemed like forever away, but here we are. It is no longer a distant reality. Each and every one of you should be proud of yourselves for all that you've accomplished over the years. You have all grown to be wonderful individuals that have so much to give to the world. New opportunities are, go are going to come your way, and as your classmate, I urge you to take them. To dream big and never be afraid to do what makes you happy. Go out into the world with a kind heart. Be positive even when things around you seem to be negative. Love, laugh, and take chances. I know we're all ready to get out of here, so with that being said, congratulations, class of 2019, we did it. Let's give a big round of applause to these graduates of Coldwater High School. I think they work a lot harder than that. I can't quite hear you in the stands, and there's about 2,000 of you over there. We're gonna wanna keep it going for these guys. They've done a wonderful job in their time here at Coldwater. sure that we're all cheering these kids on as they go over to throw their caps before going to get their diplomas inside. Thank you. 
have the faculty follow the students right out. Again, parents, a nice opportunity to take a picture of the cap throw, and then the students will be needing to go inside to get their diplomas. We certainly appreciate all the support and love you've given them over the years and the partnership that we have had with you.